Hey guys, hey then, welcome back. Uh, I accidentally, if you watched the last episode, you'll know, I accidentally jumped into the next race. I just loaded up the um, last save point, and I think it's taken us back a little way. Let me just have a look here in the calendar. Okay, so we're back to race day. All right, so. Question is, what on earth so we've got one front wing that's going to be here in 12 days front wing design for next uh i oh know for the existing wing and a rear wing design for next season so what was it that i put my time and effort into i can't remember All right, so look, in 12 days, we're going to have a new front wing. That's going to help us on corners. Uh, I'm going to put a new design in. And we're going to go, we're going to push for top speed. I'm thinking the chassis might be the way to go because it helps with the engine cooling so much. Maybe engine cooling gives us more speed. Let's have a look, see here. I don't think this is what I did before, but I forget. I forget what I did before. So that's going to improve everything. But by increasing that, I lose that. Okay, so that will be improvements across the board with a significant improvement on engine cooling. Is that what I want to do or, or should I be focusing on next year's changes? Uh, What, I'm, what am I researching? I'm researching the rear wing. The rear wing is not the biggest problem. The front wing is the biggest problem. So... Uh, So we, we're going to be uh, we're going to be plus next season, according to this. I don't know. Difficult to know, isn't it? That doesn't do anything. Um, okay, so one of the areas that we're definitely going to be needing some work is the underfloor, and also the front wing. So let's do some front wing research. The thing is, we don't benefit from front wing research at all, do we? Again, our top speed acceleration is still not good enough. Next ATR is in 24 days, so I might as well throw all of this at it.
Well, that's quite a significant jump. I'm going to go for that. Uh, and how many days is that? 26 days. 18 days. All right, let's do it. All right, we're going to Suzuka. Uh, we've had a couple of results in the last couple of races, but we're still not overly good, let's say. Um... The car itself is still lacking. We're still having to push really hard just to stay competitive. Um, and whether or not that's contributing to the drivers crashing, it's very difficult to say. If this game was realistic, you would say yes, but I don't think this game is that realistic. So we, we still don't know. Konnichiwa from the Suzuka Circuit in Japan. This unique track is a favorite home for motorsports, and it welcomes us back this weekend. Get ready for exhilaration and speed with the Japanese Grand Prix. Drivers will battle it out this weekend on the snaking turns of Suzuka, the only figure of eight track in Formula One. High-speed downforce will be the name of the game here, if teams want to secure a place on that podium. With the season nearly concluded, time is running out for the team. Can anyone make a last minute breakthrough? Can the leading drivers hold on? Only time will tell. What will happen this weekend? Only time will tell. We're gonna have a wet race. Oh my gosh. Okay. That changes everything. So what car parts have we got on? We've got we've got chassis, we've got four of, we've got front wings. Why have we only got two of the same design? Oh no, don't tell me this. All the cheating I did has been undid. Oh no. It's disastrous. That is not what we're looking for. Damn it. All right. So if we have any uh, collisions this weekend, we're, we're going to be back to square one, back to old technology. Wait, do check? There's nothing I can do about it. Green up. Green up. Damn. Well, it serves me right for cheating, I guess. But not only have we not cheated, we haven't even got anything under development now. Because I didn't realise we'd gone back that far, to be honest. Alright, what sort of times are we doing, lads? Doing as faster than Piastri again? Doohan has really come into his own in the last couple of races. We've just had a crash on the track. Gasly. Good news for us. Especially as soon as we're faster than him at the moment. What is going on with Piastri? It's just getting slower and slower and slower. We're well off the pace here this weekend, aren't we? This is not a good situation for the team. Who's running wide there? Everyone's having some slight difficulties. Jack wrote off two or three cars last week. Piastri wrote one off in the race. We lost three cars last week. 
Okay, so we've started pretty well. First pit stop giving us good. We come away from session one in uh, great condition then we'll be very happy so we've got one optimal already Okay, we'll give that a try. Oh, did someone run wide there? I don't really understand what's happened to Piastri. He's gone completely off the boil. We've just had a spin. I think we've had a car run wide. Everybody's off the boil. It's quite scary. In about 15 laps. That stuff. That's what we're after. Quite what we're after. All right. I would call that a slow but successful first practice. All right, what can we do here? too much. It's going to be more like that actually, yeah. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Stick them on a set of... Stick them on a set of hard today.
Losing my mind. Far away, guys, far away. Radio check. Radio check. Piastri, suddenly the faster of the two. Still well off the pace though. Yeah, that's, that is a worrying sign. I'm glad Piastri has woken up a little bit, but... Um, still not ideal situation for us. There's been a crash! Sounds like a single car! Zero percent chance of a safety car. That doesn't seem likely. Now, what are the expected stops? One thirty seventeen on the pit stop, seventeen being under certain rules. Just the one DRS zone. Wow. Yeah, we're not we're not quite gonna be fast enough here. Taking a second look at those expected strategies. Nobody's using hard, which is interesting. Nobody is using hard. And actually, Piastri's on medium and Jack's on hard, and Jack is still faster than Piastri. Back on the car. Oh, that's nice. That's what you need. Something like that happening. A bit more work to do for PS3. Ooh. Well, I never.
Hmm, tricky. So medium tires are not lasting that long either. Let's go a little bit more aggressive and see what sort of lap time we can pull. Who's running wide there? <laughs> perfect. Absolutely perfect. like someone's gone wide there. We've had a crash. I don't know why I'm even looking at hard and medium tyres. It's going to be a wet race. So anything I learn here is going to be completely irrelevant in the race itself. Right, so just out of interest, how many laps did we get? 31. And uh, Piastri got how many on the softs? Okay. 27. No. 26. Now, there are no good tyres out there at all. We are very not on the pace. So he's got great. for joining us here today. Once practice is over, qualifying will be underway, and then the fight for pole begins. While many eyes may be drifting ahead to the big race, the teams and their drivers will be fully focused on the task at hand here today. Those who make the most of the free practice sessions will head into qualifying knowing that they've given it their all and done everything in their power to cement themselves a good, strong position on the asphalt tomorrow. Let the competition commence. Just check that we've got the best of the best here. That's sector three, sector two, five rear wings we've developed this season. Hardly any any decent change whatsoever. Ah, so we've got new suspension, but I don't have it developed. Damn. How many laps are this? 53 laps.
Right, we'll give that a try. Radio check. Radio check. The Jack is going to be running on full fuel. Heavy car. He's going to get real experience of the track. The back of that. So you know, that's a valid point I've only just thought about. I'm putting 25 laps of fuel in. All these other cars are probably putting in less than that. Keep an eye on the tyre history. Jack ran wide. Oh, did someone run wide there? Hopefully he'll get this out of his system. Nope, he's run wide again. We are so not nearly there. I don't think we're going to get it. I don't think we're going to get it right. And Jack's crashed the car. Oh my god. Every goddamn week and he's broken everything. Oh my word. Ah, oh, God. Okay, there's a big crash. Copy. Doesn't matter what you do in this game, it just keeps kicking me in the balls. a crash on the track. Oh dear, we're going to have a terrible race. 
it's kind of a good thing because my wife's on the couch terrible cold flu symptoms but she's out of action so i've been doing all the all the sort of cooking shopping looking after the little one and so on and so forth so in exactly 58 minutes i need to go and turn my daughter's movie off and settle her down for sleep So if this race goes horribly, horribly, which is what I'm now expecting, I can I speed crack. through lots of it. I don't even know what Jack's going to be racing on now. He's going to be racing on really old stuff. That's a nice little bonus, isn't it? A bit of optimal. For Piastri in the last minute of the last minute of the last minute. Good job, thank you very much. So yeah, in case I didn't finish my sentence earlier on, if we're going around in with 25 laps of fuel in the car and everyone else is going around with 10 laps of fuel in the car, they're obviously going to be lighter and faster than us. Look at that. Any, any normal person would see this and think, wow, you've had an excellent training session. You're going to be well up for this. No. Three place group penalty. That's for his crash that he had at the end of the last race. Go back to... I don't know what he's on. I really don't know what he's on. They're going to need some new parts. I'm not going to do it today. Radio check. Copy radio check. Three, two, one, go Piastri. Go Jack. Yellow flag. Perez is out, completely out. Sounds like a single car. Can't see how there's going to be no safety cars here. Doing up into 10th and he's not even on the newest stuff Piastri up into 9th and they're out there for one more lap perhaps perhaps I think we'll make it through oh doing just by the skin of his teeth Right, Piastri, don't forget, is taking a three-place penalty. Not ideal, but... If we can somehow squeeze our asses through...
Right, here we go. It's going to be a wet race, so I don't think this matters too much. No, Jack. Jack is very slow. Piastri much better up in fifth. Jack is going to have to pull something out of somewhere. I don't think Jack can even go any faster. Ah, oh, Piastri's out as well. Oh, there we go. I could have thrown a fresh set of tyres at it, but I can't really be bothered. It's time for the final touches here on the grid, ahead of today's race. Qualifying went well for Williams, as attested by their strong position on the grid. Now it's all about finding that edge for the race itself. Alpine demonstrated a lot of grit during qualifying here, and will be hoping that the hard work pays off when it comes to the race. And the weather is sunny here today, apart from a few clouds. Let's hope they remain scattered on the horizon. But now it's time for the team's cunning to emerge and for the driver's talent to shine. Let's see what's in store for us at the Japanese Grand Prix. Show the cameras. go all oh, right so when's the rain coming this is what we need to know oh not until the middle of the race holy caramba well only hard tires are going to get us all the way to there without needing to have a a change so i'm, I'm going for that Some point round about then, and it only just m m manages to reach as well. But uh, that's what we're going for. So it's not going to get that wet, so we can just stay on inters. I mean, we're almost going to go back to dry weather, so... Could be interesting, this, actually. Could be interesting. Right. So what does it reckon? Two... Two litres per lap. Bloody hell. That's 106. It's going to be 111. I'm going to go 109.3. And we're going to go overtake. And we're going to be max fuel for as long as possible. That could work out very well for us. Wait, no, until we get there. I hope I'm not tempting fate here. But there are quite a few clouds overhead as we look at the lineup on the grid. Here's Williams. Slower than most yesterday, so today they'll be starting from the bottom half of the grid. And looking at the second Williams car. With their starting position in the back 10, they'll have their work cut out for them. The teams are ready to go. Show the cameras. The drivers are warmed up. They're ready to go here at the Japanese Grand Prix. And it's lights out, and away we go. So everybody is on soft or medium. Nobody looks to be on hard. 15. Everybody looks to be on soft. So I can all but guarantee they're going to have to pit before us. 
Now, is that going to buy us enough time? What's the pit stop? 30 seconds. So if we could stay within 30 seconds of these guys, then uh, we should be laughing. Right, so Dewan's in 11th, just outside the points. Piastri is all the way down in 15th. Just the one DRS zone, you'll remember. Oh yeah, we're definitely slower. As long as we don't lose more than 30 seconds off them. We should be okay. When are we pitting in? Around about lap 30. Oh, it's going to be a tight run thing, isn't it? We're losing about a second a lap. Which I don't think we will, because... Um, their tyres are going to start burning out and they're not going to be as fast fairly soon. Who locked up? Who locked up? Oh, Piastri locked up! Oh, no, he didn't. Better to crash. We've had a crash! Norris is out! He's down to last place at least. He's not out completely. That's good for us, for a team. Now, we've still got an Alpine and an Alfa Romeo. Two Alfa Romeos up there. We're just ahead of Gasly. My DRS is enabled. Uh, Jack is just outside of that DRS zone. So I'm going to put the open the taps a bit. Jack, deploy. Piastri, deploy. Make sure you do some energy. Copy. If we get within range of uh, DRS, then um, it will be okay. Remind myself, where is that DRS zone? So it is on the start finish straight. It's weird because the map is at a different angle than the uh, DRS map. So it's somewhat confusing. Right, DRS should be opening up now for Jack. Yes, Piastri, no, he's way off it. Piastri, deploy. Full deploy. Copy.
Yes, we can. Oh, he's almost in range, isn't he? Yes, we deploy. Yeah, deploy. Just, just out of range. But I can see, uh, I can see Norris and Albon there, both looking to catch up and overtake. Two. Somebody ran wide. I think someone's run wide. Come on, nice. So uh, yeah, the, the McLaren's having a terrible time this weekend. Hopefully that will continue throughout the entire race. Starting to think maybe we gave them too much fuel. Well, that's Piastri having given it absolutely everything he's got, and he's still more than a second behind. So he's not going to get DRS. Piastri harvest for two. Jack Cam. Compared to locked up, sector two. Yellow flag. There's been a crash. Russell. Russell all the way down to the second from last place. Another crash. Not a crash, just a run wide. Okay. That's Ricardo that time. Oh my god. Jack, you scared the crap out of me there, dude. Okay, keep pushing, keep pushing. And McLaren with a great overtake. Yes, we can. Russell's in the pits, repairing some damage. Alright, let's get some idea what their tyres are looking like. So everybody's on softs, except for us. What's rather annoying is we're burning our tyres at the same rate they are. But they're all coming down to below 70% now, so their, their prime speed has now been reached and exceeded, whereas we've still got decent tyres, so... Ferrari 
Hurry! Advance the race position! Keep an eye on signs, buddy. If he goes, you go. Gastry deploy. Gastry is very slow here. That's good news for us, Alonso going wide. So they're about 10 laps in and they've lost half of their tyres at least. I reckon around about lap 20 they're going to have to pit in and we're going to get a massive 30 second jump. Gastry overtake. Just use the overtake. Gastry neutral. Gastry harvest. So no matter what I do, Piastri cannot catch up with anyone. Jack seems okay where he is. I guess we'll just try and keep it to that. Jack Cam. Jack, normal speed. Okay, back off. Copy. Okay, we're burning into him a bit here. That's for normal speed. Yes, we can. He's quite off the pace, isn't he?
And there goes Magnussen, making that look very easy. Just hoping their tyres burn out nice and fast. Is that a new race position for Haas? Stick on his DRS PS3, that's all I ask. They're not miles off the pace, but they are off the pace. That's good, that's good. Yastri, good stuff. Oh no, Jack, good stuff. There's an overtake from Williams. But maybe the tyre range is coming back into our favour a little bit here. We're about halfway there, We're a little over halfway through the tyres, which is quite concerning. We may end up doing a double stop anyway. Pass with an overtake!
Here comes Perez. Jack Cam. Jack's doing superbly well staying with these boys. a bit right we've got some pit stops Charles de Clare Alonso and Joe Garnier all coming in doing his up to six Piastri is now up to 11 a new position just gained by Williams. What's everyone else going to do? That's the question. Now, Dewan is actually doing faster lap times than anyone ahead of him, except for the top three. And I think he's being held up finally. Jack, overtake. overtake. Let's find out, shall we? Bottas is pitted. Uh, maybe not. Jack neutral. Gastry cam. Gastry harvest. Jack harvest. Got quite a few laps to go till we get to that wet stuff. The staff and the fastest man on the cut on the track into the pits. Jack is third, Piastri is now seven. Take that back, is now eight. He is a Red Bull sandwich, or the meat within a Red Bull sandwich. Piastri harvest. Jack harvest. all about the rain now. So unlike uh, wet tyres, if you bring wet tyres out on 
damp conditions uh, the car slows down so much that it would have been faster to stay out on the slicks in the wet but with inters I don't think we have that problem so when it starts raining on inters because that's what we're swapping to it's about coming in probably as early as possible a lot of overtakes and Williams are falling behind. That can. Are these guys on fresh tyres perhaps? They're not on fresh tyres. I think Jack must have overtaken two positions and then lost them both. I think that's what's happened there. But Gassi and Albon are going to have to pit in. How the hell is Albon up there all of a sudden? McLaren, gain a position! Albon was down the bottom earlier. How is Albon now third? What the hell's happened? What have I missed? Albon between lap 15 and 19 went from 13th to 3rd but his lap times didn't get any quicker so what the hell happened there did Jack go off what happened Jack didn't have any incident Has that happened? It's somewhat confusing. Nice work. Gaspi can. Gaspi just overtook Perez. <laughs> I guess Perez's tyres are starting to give up. Just gained by Williams. I do not know how Albon has got himself into second place. Kind of really weirded me out. Oh, I saw some specks of rain, I thought then. Lap 21, we've got about another nine laps before we need to think about dropping tyres.
but with the exception of Verstappen, everyone above Piastri uh, is probably going to have to come in for tyres. There's Stroll coming in, there's Gasly coming in. Jack Cam. I would love there to be a replay so I could see how Albon jumped 10 places. Yes, we can. Surely Albon and Vettel have got to come in on this lap. Jack Cam. Albon's doing one more, I think. Vettel's in. Albon's pushing for a lasty. Sector three, yellow flag. Yellow head. Copy. Perez comes in for tyres. Now, am I going to get seven laps out of these? I really doubt it. Okay, back off. Copy. We're going to get about a maximum of five laps out of these. We're going to have to go conserve. A shame because this is nearly the perfect strategy, but not quite going to work out the way I wanted. Another crash. Sounds well, like there's been a crash. Vettel has crashed on turn 11. Wow. He just went in for new tyres. That's that's not going to cheer him up. Albon finally coming into the pits. Yeah, Red Bull gained the place. We've got DRS, but his DRS uh, flap on the on the rear wing is not deploying for whatever reason. Cannot believe how many issues there are with this game for the price they asked for it, and people are just fine with it. I think it's outrageous. Anyway, we're in a good position, second and third. Now, if I can get these tyres to lap 30, then our strategy has all but worked. But then I have to hold on to those inters for as long as possible. And that could be a whole new problem. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Oh! 
five laps to go. Yeah, she's going to drop a few spots. Nothing we can do about that. Actually, Piastri has a little bit more. Piastri can. So heads done. Focus. Copy. Oh my God! Where did that Ferrari go? Just absolutely blitzed past us. Look. Oh, we are slow now. Place. This was always the problem. If they come in for tyres, are they just going to catch us and blitz us? And they are blitzing us. Aston Martin with a great play there. They've moved up a place. Stick to the plan. What do you think? Stick to the plan. Gave the wrong guy the extra bit of speed. We're happy to push on with the tyres. Lovely. Further Here we go. Well, in one minute, we're not expecting any rain. But it is coming. Gastry also doing a great job of slowing everybody down, holding them all back. Alfa Romeo just moved up a place. We don't want that. We don't want that. Jack Cam. There he is. There's the Ferrari. Jack, deploy. Stay with that Ferrari as long as you can, mate. Use your rest. Lap 28, we got two laps to go. It's a race position gained for Mercedes. Push through all 
has to redeploy. Yeah. Jack can. Copy. Jack, deploy. Make sure you give something energy. Copy. So it's raining just one shot. Copy. Focus on push. Copy. And focus. Come on, Jack. Do you want to get him in time? Copy. One shot white. Just we can. So if Verstappen, Leclerc, Bottas are having a slightly tricky lap, then we'll we'll gain back on them. So it got wet pretty quickly. Perfect timing on that pit stop there. Right, here we go then. First cars on Inters. The first car on Inter. So we're 2.6 seconds. Now we're 2.1 seconds. Now we're 1.8 seconds behind Perez. We're just blitzing it. Look. Look at the pace we have now. Piastri harvest for two. Jack Carvis for two. Two places we've just taken already. It's worked out very well. Keep doing what you're doing. Verstappen's in the pits. Are we going to get there in time to catch Verstappen? Probably not. Probably not, I'd say. Oh wow, we can't get past Albon. He's going to have to break earlier than us in the corners, right? Wow, that was disappointing as hell. Look how much he's slowing us down. Let's go round him. Oh, that was disastrous. Look at that, they've all caught us up now. We had such a huge gap. And we totally wasted that. Uh. Come on, Jack. Keep doing what you're doing. Take from Williams. Go check on my daughter in three minutes. Two minutes. Fourth and eight. But catching on Leclerc and Bottas like they're not even moving. Go round him! Oh my god.
Right, well, at least Jack has got some distance again. Just gained by Williams. Second and sixth. The Astri overtake. Happy to use the overtake. Copy. Jack Harvest for two. to two that's a ferrari is that carlos signs someone spun out certainly is astri go on get up into fourth astri overtake you have the overtake Gonna be a tricky race this. Well done, Piastri. He held that line superbly well. Deserved that. Right, so it's time for me to go in and say goodnight to my daughter and settle her down. It's gonna take me a few minutes. There's 20 laps left. Let's just take a look at the tyres. I think we've just about got enough to get to the end on a hook or a crook so I'm trusting in my drivers good luck guys
up and gone straight on. Hello guys, I have returned, and Madam did not want to go to bed, so it took a bit longer than expected. What are we on? We've got 13 laps left. We're in second and fourth place. We could have our first ever double podium here. Wow, that is exciting. Look this Piastri is right on the back of Yuki Tsunoda as well. But we do not have as much tyre tread as everybody else, which is really annoying. The staff is like 25 seconds ahead. So this is not a done deal, not by any stretch of the imagination. Wow, how have we used so much more tyre than everybody else? How did that happen? It's going to be so, so tight, isn't it? Just we overtake. 
Okay, we can easily overtake. No effect whatsoever. Um. Don't be asking. That looks like a section of, of track that we're actually faster at. Let's see if we can overtake him at that point. Yeah, she's doing very well, I have to say. We're running out of fuel though, which is a bit of a concern. That's going to impact on our speed. Gastry overtake. Just use the overtake. Copy. Let's see if it works this time. There's the overtake manoeuvre. This time it works. No, nope. blocked on the inside. Early acceleration and we're through up into third. Wow, good, good overtake there, Piastri. Good job, good job. Right, so we're going to see whether or not Piastri is actually faster. And if he is, we'll naturally let him pull away. And then we'll start harvesting those tyres. What sort of lap times we're doing.
The Jack's doing 134.738, which is quite a bit slower than Piastri's current time. Faster than Yuki Tsunoda though, uh, slower than Russell, but faster than Ricardo. So we're, we're in a good little position. Yes, we can afford to go light on those tires for a bit. We want to leave court, please. Copy. Try and get ourselves a okay. bit of headroom. Okay. We'll do the same for Piastri before we turn off his engine. And he goes wide instantly. And then he gets hit instantly. Brilliant. What the hell am I supposed to do with that? All the way down to six from third place for no reason whatsoever so we can throw those theories about too much fuel in the car pushing too hard all of that absolute rubbish if you've got any pace left it'll be good now Coffee. Let's close this gap. I'm angry now. I don't know whether I want Piastri to stay in the points or whether I want him to go and get more tyres. Pardon me. There's only about 10 laps left. Oh, that was going so well. Increase. Lift and coast. Copy. How far is he going to drop? All the way down to 19th, basically. But we can't even keep pace with him anymore. With our damaged wing, we're just going to fall out the points. How can your tyres be overheating, Jack? Shut the hell up. They are overheating. How the hell are they overheating? He's, he's not even pushing. Oh, Piastri, you threw away our first ever double podium. He hasn't really been the same since he won his first Grand Prix, has he? I'm going to get overtaken here. That's 
That's a position gained for Alpha Tauri. He has to be overtake. Happy to use the overtake. Yeah. on Piastri. Con locks up. Happy to increase pace. Okay, reduce lift and coast. Yeah. Register lift and co. That's six laps to go. Six laps to go. Am I going to get six laps out of these tyres? I really don't think so. to push Perfect. five laps to go we're gonna have to nurse him to the end of the race here Piastri Harvest. Oh, he's lost it. Move a bit more pace now if you've got it. Not going to make it. is now dry. Are people going to come into the pits? Ah. The Astri deploy. Looks like Aston Martin have just gained a race position. Full deploy. Yeah.
sector two. That's the overtake. Someone's run wide. You have the overtake. Copy. Yuki Sonoda runs wide. That's very good for us. Russell now closing in on us at a dangerously fast rate of knots, though. There's three laps left. Ah, oh, Biastro, you had that. You chickened out, you big wussy. Two seconds behind now, and he's got so much more tread than we do. Sector two, I don't know who it was. We just had a car run. Wide. Albon, nice. I'm glad to see Albon back at the bottom again. Got an interesting uh, race, Albon. Happy to push, happy to push. Copy. Two more laps, two more laps. Jack, deploy. Copy. He's catching us and we can't do anything about it. Somebody spun at sector one. Is that for Stefan? Sounds like a spin. It was for Stefan. But he's so far ahead it really doesn't matter. Right, this is the last lap. Jack deploy. Use the arrest. Copy. The cam. And let's go push. Copy. The Astri's going to lose every position he gained. Track is now dry, so cars like this that are pushing hard on those inters, Jack, deploy. They should be having a really tough time now. See, look, we're starting to pull away from him, I think. Low fuel, so be mindful of that. Oh. Let's reduce lifting coast by one level. Well done, Jack. Well done, Jack. Done a fantastic job there, mate. 
over the finish line and today's winner. Right to the last lap, but yes, well done. Okay, check it flag. Check well it done, flag. Jack. Piastri's all the way down in 14th. He's out of tyres. He's done. I should have brought him in for tyres. He shouldn't have gone off the track. That was entirely his fault. Again, Piastri throwing points away for us. A wonderful result here for the Williams driver. have got to be happy with their results. Oh, that's weird. This was good work. It's really wonderful to see all the hard work they've been putting in and paying off like this. The end this weekend in fifth place in the constructor standings. Coming up next, we'll be crossing the pond all the way to Texas for the twists and turns of the United States Grand Prix. Brilliant, Jack. Absolutely brilliant. Well done, mate. So, um, Jack now goes above Oscar Piastri into 10th spot, and he more than deserves it. Bearing in mind, Oscar Piastri had 25 points uh, right at the beginning of the season, has just basically squandered it, and nothing with it at all. Um, Williams still in 5th, 30 points clear. Unfortunately, Alpine got 12 points on us today. If... Um, if uh, if Piastri hadn't screwed up, then he would have had, what, an extra 18 points? And that would have really helped us. That would have put us much, much closer to Alpine. But, uh, yeah, as long as we're staying away from Alfa Romeo and McLaren, I guess that's okay. McLaren was zero points this weekend. Interesting, huh? Oscar has a point to spend to improve his cornering. Seeding expectations. Always like it when they say that. Car analysis. Where are we at? There's a few, a few things that are okay, but really the car is not okay still. It's in development. Ooh. Nine days and 15 days, and the Grand Prix is in 11 days, okay? So we may have a new front wing to, to run. Fingers crossed. David Wheater development. Wow, he's got two points to spend. Let's spend it on. What should we spend it on? Track reduction, I think. Yeah. Let's get those speeds up. So all our engineers have got some points here. Um, I'm going to say suspension because do you know what? Suspension is something we can do often. We are getting there as a team. Okay. Front wing design complete. Is there any chance? Getting that manufactured. Who do you think? In two days. We can get one in two days. Or we could just cheat and have them both today. At a, at a very, very high price. Well, I'm going to do that. I'm going to say six front wings. Give them to me. Three million that cost. Ouch. 
thing much. Right, uh, I'm going to do some more research. I'm going to go underfloor. We have no air time to give it, which is a bit annoying. When's, when's the next session come in? 12 days. Well, I might hold on to that then. Uh, side pods. Let's do some side pod development. Drag reduction. So that actually gives us more, so I'm going to go with that. And the engine cooling actually goes, oh it goes down, does it? Okay, put a little bit on the engine cooling then so it doesn't go down. How does that go down? By my calculations, 65.18 is much higher than 64.94. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That's improvement across the board. Everything gets better. We gain 0.3 kilometers per hour on top speed. I like it. 38 days. That is quite a long time, though. Was that research? Am I still on research? Ah, uh, okay. Sorry. Sorry, 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 cancel that. Come out of research, go to design, side pods, here we go. Design focus, boom, boom, boom. Right, that's, that's a performance increase across the board, only six, 75.88 kilometers per hour but everything else gets faster as well well that really does very little does it take that. That's a huge improvement for the team. Fifty-one days. Won't reach the completion date. Damn it. Ah, oh, we can't squeeze it in. Right, so we are definitely at the arse end of everything, aren't we? All right, well, do you know what? Because research can go, as I've learned recently, research can go beyond. I'll do it there instead. It's quite a massive increase as well. Throw five guys at it. There we go. So manufacturing is a good thing because it, even if it takes for ages, you can just have it done. Right, let's go to the cars. Let's go to the warehouse. Let's go front wing. And let's get this front wing on both cars. And let's have a look and see how that helps our car analysis. Oh, ninth, eighth, sixth, 
so in the corners we're really fast on the straight we're still slow um yeah i like that it's just our top speed we've got to work on and what have we got coming suspension that's going to give us a bit of top speed in six days and then i could probably squeeze another one in before the end of the season as well Oh, Circuit of the Americas. Cool bananas. Right. Thank you for watching, guys. It was kind of a good result. Could have been our first ever double podium. Didn't quite happen. But we are getting so much closer to being able to do that. So much closer. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Till then, goodbye for now.